What's up, everybody? This is Chili Mostly, a.k.a. the coolest man on YouTube. What it do, what it do, what it do. Now, y'all probably reading the title of this video and like, what do these two SBs have to do with, you know, building a collection? Now, I'm going to tell you that reason in a minute. Now, when you think of a collection of anything, you know, quality over quantity is generally a better road to go with. But one thing that people collect, like, you know, that sneakers, sometimes quantity is a little better than quality. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just want to have a lot of things, you know, a lot of shoes. You just want to, you want to be able to wear a different shoe for a month straight if you want. You know what I mean? So in a shoe game, sometimes, you know, there are some great, you know, people that have great collections that are quality and quantity. And there's some that are just quantity and there's some that are very small but have great quality. You know what I mean? So we might have 10 shoes, but their shoes are just so valuable and so rare and just, you know, shit like that. But this video, I'm just telling y'all a little a little tip, basically, on how to fill in your collection. You know, if you're one of those guys that have, like, 10, you know, pair of shoes, maybe 15 pair of shoes, you want to have 20 pair of shoes, maybe 30 pair of shoes, this is a great way to do it. Now, as you see here, you know, just some SBs, you know, just some little SBs, you know. Ones that just sit, you know, just some SBs, whatever, some set helps, and, uh, yeah, I forgot what these shits are, these are Premier, I think these are like a Premier, do you know what are these? I don't know, this is one of the four stars on them, they, I think they were like Premier and SB, like, collaboration shoe or something, alright, but that, it, don't, it don't matter what they are, now, this right here, this two pair of shoes, you know how much this cost me? A hundred dollars. These were sixty. These were forty. These were all DS, brand new, sitting. Now, this is my tip. If you want to fill in your collection a little bit, you should start going after these dunks because dunks are probably the most hype beast shoe, you know, on the planet. People literally only buy. The dunks that everybody else wants. You know what I'm saying? So, like, nice, high-quality shit like this just sits. So, all the skateboard companies, I mean, skateboard online sites and anywhere that sells dunks, they eventually go on clearance. They eventually get dropped to, like, $60, $50, $40 because nobody's picking them up. And that's a great way to build your collection because, as you can see, these shits is dope. Like, look at the quality, like. That suede is unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? And they all come with like multiple laces. Like these come with black laces also. These come with like three different laces. These gray ones. They come with purple. You know what I'm saying? They come with black. You know, like they all come with multiple laces and things like that. So you get a lot of bang for your buck. And it's very cheap. Like I said, these were only $40. Look at that fucking, look at that. Look at that toe. If that's not the smoothest material you ever seen in your life, that suede, look at that. Like, this is a high-quality shoe. Pay $40 for it. And it can go with any dope outfit. You can throw this on with any dope outfit. You know what I'm saying? There's so many dope colors that just sit on shelves, man. You can get it for $40, you know what I'm saying? I pick up a lot of these. You know what I'm saying? These are my two most recent. I actually wore these the day after I got them. That's why I didn't have factory lace. So I did actually wear these. I wore one with this, and my other one has purple. So I had, like, one purple one white. It was kind of dope, whatever. Killed it. But, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you can definitely build your collection up. If you just want to fill it in, and you want to have a lot of shoes, but you don't want to have to spend $200, $150 on every shoe you want, go to any site that sells a lot of, like, dunks and you know, them like Premier and SNS, you know, places like that that don't just sell Nike, Jordan, you know, just this, don't sell that. 
Go to those websites, man. You can always find you some cheap dunks for like $60, $50, $40 that look dope as hell, that people just weren't hyped on, that'll go with a lot of different outfits, and they're filling your collection real nice. You know you mean? You have a whole lot of boxes. Oh, you know, just stuff to fill in your collection, you know, because we all are collectors of shoes. You dig what I'm saying? If you have more than five pairs of shoes, you got to consider yourself a collector, you know, whether you're wearing them or not, you're a collector. So this is just a little tip, man. Step up your SB game. You don't always got to get the ones that everybody's going crazy over. You can chill. There's, there's, there's literally dozens of SBs out there right now that you can cop that are way below retail. You know, retail on the SB is like 100 or 108. You can buy so many of these for well under that, like 70, 60, 50, 40, so many on eBay or at the, you know, at the actual like store, at, you know, the online stores. So just go search, man. Just type in SB. You're going to see crazy colors, all types of shit, pink and just every color combination you can imagine that you can kill an outfit with. You can go cop. You know what I'm saying? So that's my little tip, man. You know, I, I'm starting to do that now. I give little tips because you know I've been doing. I've been fucking with sneaks heavy, man. I've been, I've been, I've, I've been that nigga with the sneaks since '96. You understand me? I can go down. This is I'm, this is my sixth grade. This is sixth grade for me. '96. I was in sixth grade. First day of school, I had the um. Can't remember what they called, but it was the Nikes. You could take off the strap, take on the strap. You know them John, that you can remove the whole strap? I had them. About a month into school, I had the Iversons. The, uh, what was that? What was those the questions or the answers? I can't remember, man. But those questions or the answers, I can't remember. But, you know, the ones with the blue toe. I had them. Boom. Turn around Christmas. Black and red Jordans. We called it black and red Jordans then. There wasn't no flu games and all that dumb shit. But the flu games, which y'all call it now, had them. Turn around, boom, had the royal, the black and royal penny twos. Boom, turn around right after that. Had the black and gold I was in some of my DC trip in February. You understand me? This is one school year. You know how much I killed these niggas at one school year? Then turn around, the last week of school had the, well, what y'all call the playoff 12 now. We call it the black and white 12. Had the black and white 12s. Killed them that whole school year. Sixth grade was my first year where I really started really getting sneaks. And I've been that nigga with the sneaks ever since. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I was in school, which was like, you know, like high school in me. I was in high school from 99 to 03. You know, niggas wasn't really up on sneaks yet. It was still kind of like I was that nigga. I only had like 10 pair of shoes and two of them was Air Ones. You get what I'm saying? But I was still that nigga with the sneaks. You understand me? So I then came up with this, you know. I came up with sneaks when they was popping, like when they wasn't popping, you know what I'm saying? So I got a little knowledge, you know what I'm saying? I'm a grown man, so grown men acquired knowledge. This video went on a lot longer than it was supposed to be. I'm a talking ass nigga, but yo, just go, check out the SBs, get you some good ass, you know, good high quality shoes for cheap to fill in your collection a little bit so you can make yourself, because it makes you feel good when you see you got a lot of sneaks, you know what I'm saying? No matter what you say, it makes you feel good to look over at your little collection and be like, damn, I'm popping. I'm doing my thing. So, this your boy Chili. I'm signing out, y'all. Peace.